Okay, so here's the uh, 17 foot long, 3,000 gallon, 2007 Master Spas H2X Swim Spa. It has been converted over to using hot water from a just a home hot water tank, direct hot, direct heated water tank, and a heat exchanger, rather than that silver tube down there, which is the Balboa um, heater, which is about 5,500 watts. <clears throat> this uh, is running off of uh, gas heated water, so it's a whole different animal. So the way this works is normally the water would just come through here, go straight through here, and then get sucked in through the heater, okay? Now, the way it works now is that heater's been disabled. I'm not going to touch it, but these two poles right here are um, where the 220 volts used to go to, 110 per pole. And see those two yellow guys right there? Those are my wires. I basically took off those copper guys that attach to the two 110s for the heater. I send those two 110 volt uh, signals down this, this cable into my barn, which uh, when the 220 goes on there, it um, actuates a relay, a special relay that, that actuates the 220 volts. And then it tells a pump that's inside the barn here to run. It pumps hot water into the red hole right here. And it goes through the center of this heat exchanger. And the uh, cooler water that gets that comes you know out and goes back to the heater goes in the blue one. Now, the water comes in from the spa and goes into the shell of this thing. And comes out here hotter. And then starts to go through there. Normally here, I will see coming off the hot water heater itself somewhere close to about 130 degrees. It's usually down to about 105, maybe 110, so it's given up a good 20 degrees or more of heat. And then these two, there's less of a difference. You're going to see like, you know, your 88 degree water coming in here, maybe 90 degree water coming out of there to heat the spa. Now, one thing you'll notice is this wire here. I actually took uh, sensor number A, which is that little guy right there. It's actually wet, and there's sensor, number, there's sensor B. And they're like before and after the original electric heater, right? So I actually had a plan where I had run sensor A all the way out and I kind of taped it to the tube right over there uh, outside, not in the water, but just in the, you know, to the tube, thinking that, you know, it'll tell it that it's cold. Once the water gets heated by this, then that sensor will notice that it's hot. But the spa didn't like that at all. It kept giving me a SN5 error and it would never go into heating mode. So I just said, forget it. I went ahead and put the sensor back in, even though they're both getting the, the heated water. It's actually very happy. So how does this stuff work? Well, right now it's keeping it at a nice 88 degrees. Last night at uh, 1030 or so, I started at a 65 degrees. By the time I went to bed, it had gotten up to 70. That was at 1230 midnight. This morning I got up and I had 88 degrees. So it, it, it operates perfectly fine. Um, it's uh, in economy mode right now. So when it uh, sees a... Um, when it does one of its filter cycles, it'll check the temperature on the, the sensor here. If it doesn't like it, it'll click these relays on, which, uh, I mean, that relay here, which will send 220 into my barn, and it'll tell the pump to start running. And it'll heat it right up. The sensor says that it's up to the right temperature, and it just clicks that relay back off again, stops sending 220, and then the spa just acts like a spa. It acts the way it's supposed to. I don't do this thing of letting it get completely cold, and then turning on the gas and heating it up like crazy, you know, every time I want to go swimming. So, or my wife, actually. I don't use this thing, but my wife does. So that's that. Anyways, um, this is kind of laying open like this because I'm kind of getting ready to actually very seriously insulate it. This isn't serious insulation. It's going to be very, very seriously insulated. Close this back up. Get everything all buttoned up. And, um, you know, and be done with it. The other thing that you should note is that normally when you want to work on the spa pack, right, there's a slice valve here and a slice valve here, which allow you to turn off the water and just take this thing out. Well, I need to be able to take this out on occasion, so I actually had to put in a big valve right there. So now I've got slice valve here and a valve over here, and I can turn them both off and have a little bit of water here, but not much, and um, get it, you know, basically remove this whole unit. Why is this tilted to the side? That's uh, not a mistake. I actually purposefully did that because when I was mocking it up, I thought it might bang into this stuff here. 
it turns out that it probably would not have, or it would come close, but it would have been okay. Um, once everything squeezed down, when I was putting all the PVC together, it got closer and closer together, and I realized, oh man, I've actually got more room than I thought I had, but it's still tilted to the side. That's fine. I really don't care. That's why it's like that. And then there's these two unions here, which make it so that I can actually remove the whole unit very easily. These are quick releases. These are the shark bite releases on the pecs. You just push a little collet up there, and these pop right off real easy. It's awesome. Anyways, that's the system.